<clears throat> okay, so day's 15. I've done my workout. Uh, really hit it hard on the elliptical. Like I said, I was going to kick it up a bit this week. Uh, I've done some of my YouTube stuff. I uh, still have to do Spanish. And actually, I got to get deeper in Spanish because on Rosetta Stone, I purchased a year of live classes and somehow it didn't register. So I'm not going to have to find someone in this massive organization to uh, go like, hey, where's my stuff? So as far as hey, my stuff, I want to get deeper into a review of this sucker right here. Okay, so here's what we got. We have the um, the Wayne Lux L3, one from Kickstarter. And my initial impressions, you know, first of all, it did not come, you know, as simple like they said. If you looked at the examples of videos, basically it was this frame and you pulled it out of the box and plopped um, this rail on and did all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. No, it wasn't like that. If you saw yesterday, it was the four parts, had to put them together. It was not difficult. I'm not going to lie. It was not difficult, but it was not the two-minute installation that they said. So it's kind of like when I bought the, uh, I never did a video on it, the 3D printer. They said, talk about how it was a two minute installation. Guess what? It was two minutes. The bottom came out of the box, the top, plopped it on, lined it up, put in the screws, plugged in a few wires. I was off to the races. So they fulfilled their promise. These guys did not. Here's the next one off. Let me see. I'm gonna just start going through it. Now they talk, kept emphasizing uh, like, uh, you know, all the metal and all this stuff. Well, let me see. Okay, I'll be honest, the side rails are metal, uh, but these crossbars here, all plastic. So to keep talking about the metal, when you got all plastic here, I don't know. Uh, the next one is the autofocus. I should turn this on, and so I'll let you see it. What happens, so autofocus. Oh, there we go. So we turn on, it just goes up. Going autofocus. Uh, it actually came with um, these little, like, op focus rings or whatever. And, uh, you know, if you have to put the focus ring on top for focus little thing, just pretend this is the thing. They tell you to put it on top and use it to focus. I mean, that's kind of iffy. So, but it does work. And it seems to actually work with, uh, without using it on some materials. Let me see if I can get it to work. So you just press what they call the invisible button here. Let's see if we do it. Now you can see it, it's going in and it's just getting itself to the proper distance. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, if you have to manually focus it, you just hold this sucker down and just get it to a point where it needs to be. So it just goes up and down and you just keep holding it to, to the point where it needs to be. Uh, the roller kit, uh, it comes, here it is. <clears throat> roller kit's a, I tested it, it rolls. Well, here, here's where we're starting to get into our little issues. We're gonna talk about it. You plug it in right here, USB, and you're off to the races. Kind of auto recognize it's actually powered by the USB. And it's only uh, one uh, width here. So I don't know if it's going to really be able to get some larger things. We'll have to see, because first of all, we've got to get it to work. I've already talked about the risers uh, a little bit yesterday. So you can see, you can do boom, 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 as far as um, height. So these are cool. Now we're gonna get into, oh my God the bad. 
you probably don't notice it, and I don't know. I'll have to see when I review this. The laser is not working. You're probably going, wait a minute, the laser's working. No, that's just a red dot. That red dot is like an aiming dot. The real laser is blue. I was able to get the laser to work for a short period of time yesterday, and then all pandemonium break, broke out. So right now, uh, it's not working. I got a whole uh, couple hours out of it, did a few test prints. Uh, so let's see. This is, I mean, I'm not really impressed. Uh, this is me, picture of me, reverse and grayscale. Uh, yeah. On a black aluminum. You know, I was actually starting something there. It was in black and white, but it did it. So I was actually a little bit impressed. Here, on aluminum, this is one of the five, this is like halfway, I got tired, because this thing is slow as slow it gets. Uh, I got a little tired of just waiting for it, so um, I just stopped it. No, so that was when it was working. I got another grayscale around here somewhere. I was not impressed, because if I do grayscale on my uh, fiber printer or fiber laser, it looks good. Let me put this back on me. So if I do this on my fiber laser, it looks good. Uh, so, so far, for some things I've done, I'm not too impressed. You know, they're talking about the small laser size and how it's gonna look good. Mm -mm, I got better looking stuff out of other lasers. So, it only worked for uh, a few hours. Then the laser st itself stopped working. Everything else was working. I could pretend to print and it would just do its motions but it didn't do anything, so it's just going through the motions. Then, um, I tried to do an upgrade from the phone, over there, uh, upgrade. All it did was just keep resetting the uh, phone app. Okay, then, uh, I was like, but it still would like work, but the laser wasn't working. So this morning, I finally got the, uh, figured out the uh, desktop app, which I used on my laptop, and did the upgrades or updates that were already on the USB. Uh, first update, it um, actually like moved around, so hey, felt good. Maybe I was hoping maybe that would reset the laser. Uh, second one, it just sat there. One was for laser gerbils, I don't know what the other is for, because half the stuff's in Chinese. <sighs> so, when it was all said and done, It no longer works period you hear the uh, fan going off you can see I can do this number here well, let me see. get an autofocus and you know all I have is the red aiming dot which really doesn't aim but somebody was bringing that up the blue laser because this is a blue laser does not work and as far as little things like the little uh, protective shield so you don't have to wear glasses which they didn't include that's all good and fine all good in the hood it only protects three sides it's completely open from the back so let's say i have uh, my door over here someone's coming that way they're getting laser energy in their eye it's not uh 360 it's 270. so uh that's kind of an issue kind of a little bit uh it is when it was working, I felt it was a little slow compared to uh, my other laser, especially the fiber. I'm not going to even talk about the fiber. It was slow compared to my Artur Laser Master 2. I'm very disappointed. First of all, this thing was supposed to have been delivered in August. We know Kickstarters don't always deliver when they're supposed to. Now, it did take a slow ship from China. It did get here. I'll give them that. It was not put together. Maybe they decided to save a little money by pulling parts so you have smaller packaging. Whatever. It took maybe 15 minutes to put it together. No big deal. The big deal is uh, one of the things they didn't ship it out saying because they were doing this extensive burn-in. 
It doesn't work anymore. Stop working after a few hours. There's no blue laser. That's insane. Now it doesn't do anything. The book is so... They'll sit there and say, install it according to the video or install it according to the instructions. There are no instructions to do something, no video to do something. I mean, nowhere in the book, I mean, it's going to be hard to see this no matter what, so I'm not even going to aim at it. See, it's not even doing it now. I have no idea. Uh, there's a little button. I figured it would be the reset button. It's actually a button you can push to uh, print the same thing again. So you can, like, send something. And then if you wanted to print it a second time, you can just push it again. The first time was, like, um, to do the little outline so you can figure out where it is and position stuff. And the second or second or a little bit of a press or something, it actually printed. I couldn't get to see it to work because by the time I, because I was trying to reset, I was hoping that was a reset button. It would reset this um, laser. So I'd have the blue so it would actually burn something or cut or engrave. Uh, by that time, there was nothing. But I could see what it was trying to do. I'm going to have to really give this a, a failing grade, not a passing grade. And, but I'm only talking about myself. For all I know, the other 500 worked. And I'm just the guy out. So I'm going to have to fi figure out how to get a hold of these folks. Because there's nothing in the instruction book on how to get a hold of them. There's nothing about a warranty. And I've got to find these dudes, these jokers. I mean, let me try this. Hold on. Because this kind of locks, which is a good thing uh, when it's on, when it's off. It'll move around. So let me see. Doesn't have any tension now. If I turn it on, normally it would home. Let me see if it homes. I didn't even try that. It raises up. And it doesn't home. So it's completely dead now. So no laser. No anything else. This sucker is completely dead this morning. After applying the um, updates exactly how they said in the video it's dead boop 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 dead call in the coroner i'm giving this a complete failing grade f based on mine because you know this is a chinese company so you know they sue you for something you know like you, you ever heard about that uh Somebody put on a review in Taiwan that uh, their soup was salty. The owner of the restaurant sued them because that's legal. Because he said only her soup was salty to her taste, saying that the soup was salty, you know, impugns his reputation. So, anywho, uh, this is like 700 bucks down the drain. Feel real bad about that, not good. All these months of waiting. It's March, so it's been here October, no, October, September, October, November, December, I'm sorry, August. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. <sighs> According to how you want to look at it, six and a half, seven uh, months late. Now, if you, even if you take out the slow boat from China, we do know that stuff is backed up at the ports. It's... I'm sorry. I actually had plans for this thing when I knew it was on the way. I uh, was going to be making some slate coasters for a giveaway that I said, hey, somebody, we're going to give out prizes. And I said, hey, I got an idea. We'll do slate coasters. I was planning on using this for the slate coasters. Not anymore. Haven't even been able to test it to see if how deep it cuts in the wood. I can't do crap because this crap is just sitting here. Bump on a log! Bump on a log! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Not even 24 hours since I put it together and I have a piece of junk. Where the fan works, by the way. And that's it. Nothing else. And whatever, I can aim this, but you know. There's no laser. No blueness. I didn't have, I was planning to sit here and show you some cool stuff today. But, uh, we're done. Uh, it's a bump on the log. Thanks, y'all.